Okay, boys and girls. So now um, let's pretend I finished painting mine. I haven't had a chance to, but um, here's the painting part. So you'll finish this whole part, this section. You just keep going. And then in the other part, I wanted to show you the next part of the assignment, which was to make some kind of design. Now I chose stripes first. And then I did paint splats, dots, and now I'm going to waves and then scales. Now you can make this as complicated as you'd like, but it should be some sort of pattern. And the cool part is making it transition from one pattern to the other. So now I was thinking of trying to make these kind of turn into clouds. And then I'll do a few clouds right here in this big part. There we go. And then maybe I could do some other type of shape. So I'm just going to turn this maybe this way you can see it. So now I'm going to do some type of other shape here. So I've already done circles. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do some oval spots or like leopard spots. Those are all ideas, right? And you can even get more detailed and color in these shapes, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep going all around. And then you fill in just that part. So do I put this part? Do I draw this part? No, right? Okay, it gets cut off there. And then I, I'm going to outline this section. So this would all be painted. Okay, here we go. I'll try to show you a finished one. And then here, right here, this also might have some dots. Maybe I'll do some squares. And like I said, you can also color, start coloring these in. But these will look really cool. I'd like to hang some of these up and get some nice photos of these if you're not in class. Also, those of you that are not in class, um, here's another one where I started in crayon. So if you don't have paints, hopefully you have crayons or colored pencils. And you just do the same thing as I did with the paint, right? You do red, orange, yellow, green, I forgot to say green, blue, indigo, and violet. And you just keep going in a pattern all the way. And in the other section, you do the same thing. Think of some kind of pattern you could start. You can do lines, you can do shapes. We've done this before, so I know most of you know what I mean by pattern, right? So it'll start looking pretty neat with repetition or meaning make it repeat, okay? So I'd love to see what these look like. I'll finish mine and put a, include a photo in there for you. I just like to take my time, so remember, one spiral is colored, the other one has patterns. Try to use a marker. I look forward to seeing your artwork.